Welcome back. Talking about all my highlighters. Every one that I own. I recently did a declutter on all of the ones that I hated. So unfortunately I don't have those to talk about and I'm just talking about everything I love. Well, mostly. I think there's some, some likes, there's some strong likes, and there's some loves in this. There's no hates. I can't say that I hate anything in my collection, highlighter-wise, currently. Um, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> it's also that time of year where I just get these blotchy spots on my face and neck. Um, there's nothing to be done. I'm gonna be really crazy and start with a powder. Ooh, this is NARS Fort de France. This is a kind of a champagne-ish. You can see we've got some good light here right now. Uh, this is kind of like a champagne-ish. And it has quite the glow. You can see, very glass-like, very shiny. Um, this is a beautifully milled powder. I actually don't reach for this that much. Um, and I don't really know why. I think it's a little icy for me, um, but not ice, icy to the point where I think that it's too light. Um, what does one say about a highlighter that they don't reach for and they don't really know why? I think the reason is, is that it is a little icy for me. Um, but not to the point where I think that it's, you know, metallic looking or anything. Because it does have this beautiful, natural, glass-like glow. But, as you may know, I love me a cream. So, it doesn't wow me to the point for me to choose this over any of my beautiful cream products. We're a little chaotic today. I'm going to talk about my most affordable one in my collection. <laughs> this is ColourPop's Earth, and this is a stick highlighter. And it's this beautiful, like, pinky, pinky champagne-ish. And it is very beautiful. That's why I have it. Uh, I don't remember if I said the name, but it's Earth. U-R-T-H. I don't know, like, why would you, it's right here. Look at that. I don't know how much this is anymore, or even if it's, I'm going to have to check and see if this is discontinued, actually, because I never know with ColourPop. They're such a weird brand. I actually don't really like to support them because they just, they churn stuff out so fast and don't think about the quality sometimes. I, that's my personal opinion, but it is a really good, um, affordable makeup brand. Um, which is kind of contrary to what I just said. But this highlighter, anyway, I think it's really beautiful. And it gives me a similar glow to a lot of my high-end highlighters. Um, it's not glittery, it's not sticky, despite it being a stick. It's a very interesting smell and texture. Um, it's smooth. I think that it's a wonderful product. Um, if you're looking for a cream-ish, product that is not sticky, not glittery, and uh, is affordable, I would say do ColourPop Earth. It's They have a variety of shades, um, if this isn't really your type of color that you look for, but um, yeah, this I think this is, this is wonderful. Here's another stick. This is the Nude Sticks Nudie Glow stick, which is their highlighters, and this is in the shade Oh, I hate the name. I hate the way it feels in my mouth. Mm. This is the shade Bubbly Bebe. Bebe. B-E-B-E. -B -E. Why? Why is that a name? Why, why did you name it that? Anyways, this... I'm pretty neutral with this one. I wear it because I own it. And I do think that it is nice. It is sticky. And not the type of sticky where you're like, oh, like your face feels incredibly tacky or anything like that. But as you see, it does give that beautiful shine. But here's the thing. It kind of picks up your 
other products on your face. It, it kind of competes. And I've noticed that even when I'm wearing like a nude stick blush and a nude stick bronzer, they don't really do that. So I do think it is the type of emollients, like whatever they have this to give it its kind of glassy emollient shine on your skin. Um, I think that's what picks up your other products. So I um, normally with a stick product like this, I would dab it, but I really saturate it on my finger and I lightly touch my face and then blend out gently. Um, this is not something you just want to go onto your face um, because it will pick up everything else. If you put it onto a brush, I don't really see like a major difference in my skin. Like it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it adheres to the brush and then adheres to your face the way a lot of other cream products are one to do. Um, it's just a little finicky and it's really finicky with other products as well. So it's not my top pick. I would say that it's that and the NARS in my collection are probably my least favorite, but n I don't dislike them enough to de declutter them. Like I want to use them. Um, and it's a beautiful color too, bubbly baby. Baby. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's a beautiful color. You see? That's that's a nice. That's nice. It's nice. Here's another powder with a very confusing name. It's the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. Highlight one. It's this puppy right here. Look at this big ass dome. And this is a very silky smooth lightweight powder. Look at it looks really powdery on the fingy. But when you do this, not so. Oh, there we go. Okay. Not icy, but so radiant. It's very ethereal. It's very beautiful. Um, I recommend this if you're into Laura Mercier, if you're into powders over creams, even if you are into creams and you're like, mm, I kind of want a powder. This is so beautiful. I love to take this with a fluffy brush. Uh, I love to take this with a fluffy brush and just whoop, on the cheek, done. You don't have to buff. You don't got to do anything. It's so easy. It's so beautiful. It's so lightweight. Um, yeah. We have another stick. This is the Westman Atelier Cream Highlight in the shade Nectar. See here, it's this beautiful, like, kind of, I don't want to say peach, but it's peachy. But when you put it on the skin, it's more or less just, like, you know, glassy. This is sticky, but it does make, oh, wait, oh, satisfying, yeah. It does make your skin look very wet, very beautiful. Oh, that's it swatched and not blended out. So you can kind of see some pink, but when you blend it out, as you see, no pink to be had. Just beautiful, beautiful shine. I love this. It's so lovely. I waited a long time to buy this, and I just kept seeing more and more reviews, more and more people obsessing over Westman Atelier. Um, the packaging is beautiful. The formulas are beautiful. Uh, it's just... If you're into like a glassy highlight, no glitter, no fuss, um, that feels like almost like skincare, um, this is, it's worth checking out. It is a luxury brand. It is pricey. Am I in focus? Where am I? It is a luxury brand. It is pricey. Um, but I think that the effect that it gives you, and it's long wearing too, like it's, it, despite its emollients, um, it stays on your skin. Like you will be dewy all day and it does not fade the color or what have you. It doesn't slide all over the face. It stays put. I love it. This one is not a stick, but it does give you a very similar wet looking face because your face is actually wet when you wear this. This is a Kevin Aquan. Mm, my boy, Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face Illuminator. Mm. And that's what it does. I have the shade Solar Quartz. And you get this little, I love the packaging. It's very, 
very simple and you can I love how you can actually see how much you have there's certain packaging with highlighters where you're like I have no idea how much I have left um but this puppy okay let's do this here Ooh, let's get in focus yeah 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 this comes in a variety of shades of, as well this your skin will look the light actually makes it my ring light actually makes it look very metallic but it's not i promise um it does have some glitter pigments in here but it's not like you're not gonna look like you have like glitter all over your face there we go now that it's all blended out over my hand i love to take a damp sponge and put this on top of my cheeks and it gives you the most glass-like skin. This is not a long wearing product. It does moisturize your skin throughout the day as it soaks in um, and you will be dewy all day, but you're not gonna have this incredibly editorial looking skin all day. It's not a long wearing product. It's very beautiful. Um, I only recommend this if you are into actually having like moisturizing tackiness on your face and that you're okay with your hair getting in it it's 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 very one of a kind um i think he really nailed this type of formula but i would say that it's not everybody's cup of tea i personally love it it's it feels so sticky and beautiful like it's it's not a gross sticky it's just this Mm, I don't know, it's so juicy, because it's it's just juicy. If you want to look like an actual glazed donut, this. Kevin Aquan. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's so good. It's it's it makes me look like a pastry. Charlotte Tilbury, nude gasm palette. This fella right here. It looks very yellow in the pan, but I think it's in oh, Fuck. These are these baked gelée formulas. Um, and they go on the skin very beautifully. They're super pigmented. Uh, they, they have like this almost silky light texture. They're, they're very, very lovely. Here is a swatch of that. And as you can see, it's very, very beautiful, very pigmented. It has that glassy, yeah, that glassy type of shine not glittery not chunky not icy but it's a nice like champagne that will leave you so so glowy if you blend it out it just gets even more like natural you can build this up or you can wear it very natural oh god what's the word bereavement i have god so becca opal this is their liquid formula this for years was my favorite highlighter forever i don't know what number of bottle this is um but this is the last one that i bought before they went out of business they did sell some formulas to smashbox so i think it's like their powder highlighters and um i think their under eye concealer or something like that it's like or their under eye corrector yeah that's what it is um but they did not continue with the liquid and the liquid is my my favorite i but i'm currently in a project pan with that because i can't stomach the thought of not using it let me swatch this out here because this doesn't really swatch well. Um, it's this beautiful pinky, pinky nude shade. Let's zoom in. Yeah. It's this beautiful pinky nude shade. Obviously when you would not put this much on your face, but um, I just did this so you could see the color. But it's so natural, so beautiful. Back when I did bridal makeup, I always used this on them and every single one of them were like, whoa, what did you just put on my cheeks? And I'm like, Becca, dude. Um, it is, I'm very sad. I'm still salty about it and it's 
been what two years since Becca's gone like completely out or something I don't know I could be totally wrong um but this is just such a beautiful highlighter um I wear this a lot just trying to use it up because I do not want to waste it but I'm just so sad about it like I and I have yet to find something that I find to be a dupe of this exact formula and this color because I love this color like I just mm, it's so yummy I love it so much um yeah I'm I'm still in mourning dude I just somebody help me somebody introduce me to something that reminds them of this formula if you were a like a ride or die Becca Opal fan like oh I could just keep blending and blending and blending what's awesome about this is that it's wet but it dries down about halfway so it still stays a little tacky but it dries down so it's not going to be moving all over your face and it remains with pigmentation it's beautiful lays beautifully on top or underneath blush like it just really was that girl and she's gone now and it makes me so sad r.i.p while I'm still on the topic of becca this is the becca opal oh wrong way becca opal oh my god oh this is dangerous this is dangerous territory my friends look at that so I had hit pan on this. Let me get, I can't even like cover the thing. I hit pan on this a while ago. This is my first ever high-end highlighter. Yeah, and I've kept it all these years, all these years. And I had almost finished it and then I dropped it and it shattered into a bazillion crazy pieces. And for some insane reason, I can't throw it away. I just can't do it. And even though Smashbox has it that I could repurchase if I wanted, the thing is, is not that I dislike how this looks on my face, but my my tastes have changed. Oh, let me swatch it, let me just kind of dip a dab. Um, but this is, I keep this more for sentimental value because it was my favorite favorite highlighter for the longest time before I got into liquid highlighter like look at that how I use this now is I like to put this all over my eyes um, and every time I do people ask me about it they're like what is on your eyes and I'm like an old friend an old friends <laughs> covering my eyelids but if you're into this color if you have like a light olive skin tone like me or even up into a medium uh, getting in medium tan skin tone I think that Becca Opal is such a beautiful shade as a highlighter um, it is pretty pigmented and it does lean I don't want to say it leans metallic but it is a powder highlighter so it is going to have more of that metallic finish than some liquid products but you can put this I always like to put it on with like more of like a fluffier brush and just dust it um, and that's just my personal way of applying powder highlight uh, but it's just an honorable mention it's an old friend it's very sentimental to me probably will never repurchase this once I'm <laughs> finished with the dust or if I've finally decided that it is way too old and way too expired for me to put on my face it's probably at that point now but I um I personally am not at that point but um, I just wanted her to say hello to you all, you know, say hi. I'm like 90% sure that this brand is called Refi, but it could be Refi. I don't know. Um, this is the liquid highlighter. I think it's in the shade Topaz, which I don't know why you name a shade when it's your only shade. But I love, I'm wearing it on my face today. I love to mix this in with liquid blushes oh it's very beautiful stays pretty sticky on the skin but it shears out there's no glitter um, as you can tell I'm really into the glass like 
cream liquid highlighter look and I am not a person that cares if something remains tacky on my face as long as it stays put. Um, it is just so lovely. It's very, very lovely. I have this mixed with the Glossier Cloud paint um, and it just, yeah, it it's sticky. Like, you can tell that there's like a little happening, but it stays put. That stickiness doesn't like transfer onto things and make you make everything like really complicated. I think that stickiness is that way to make sure everything adheres, like it adheres to your skin. Um, yeah, look at that. It's just so beautiful. Okay, next one. Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the uh, highlight wand. What are you? Beauty light wand. I have this in the shade spotlight. Hate the packaging, but so does everybody else and their dog. You know, there is this. This will dry down most of the way so that you can have your icy glow all day, my friend. You can build this up to really strobe or you can shear it out so that it's nice and natural. My personal favorite is to apply it with a sponge from the back of my hand and it makes me look like a donut. I become a glazed pastry. Very beautiful. Love it so much. It's one of my favorite products. Um, a little bit goes a long way and all of the shades are so beautiful. Um, this also mixes with cream and liquid blush very nicely. Um, so you can accomplish the whole, um, you know, the pillow talk craze that's going on with this formula. Um, just mix it with a blush and you'll have it. You don't need to go out and buy more than what you already have. At this point, would it even be one of my videos if I didn't talk about this? The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is one of those crazy ass three-in-one products that everybody's trying to dupe nowadays. And uh, I don't think they can. Let's uh, let's give her a little swatch here. This has a lot of pigment. It has mica in it, so it it's not glittery, but it does have like a light reflecting shine. But it does give you the most natural, beautiful glow. Like look at that. But it's my favorite highlight. I have to say. You can wear it all over your face, you can do it as a primer, you can mix it in with foundations, or if you have a light enough shade, you can put it at the top of your cheekbones and highlight for that beautiful lit within, I have the most beautiful skin ever type look that we all strive for with our highlighters. Um, once I discovered this, uh, probably about four or five years ago, I have never put it down. I love it so much. I recommend it to all. And uh, I don't know, nothing will ever replace this for me. Um, I know that there's a lot of dupes currently, but um, I'm really not interested in them because I love the one that I have. Um, and it, it just makes your skin feel so nice. Like it's so, mm, 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 mm. The only thing I can complain about really with it is the packaging, it gets kind of messy um, and it's not very travel friendly because it's like a big glass thing. But that's what you get with luxury makeup is the packaging is, you know, it's a lot, but yeah, that's, uh, that's always my favorite. I feel like if you've watched any other video of mine, I'm like, the Hollywood Follows Filter is my favorite. Oh, -da -da -da, I use it for everything. Uh, yeah, it's, hmm, the belle of the ball. Yeah, she is. You know, I think that's it. I think I got all of my highlighters. Like I said before, I decluttered a lot of stuff in my collection, so it's all stuff that I actively use and love. Um, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up or follow me for more chaotic videos. I gotta go try and get all of this glitter off me now. I'm just, I'm covered. Bye.